welcome to the instructional part of the video. You can get tabs and backing tracks if you go to my website, www.erichaugenguitar.com. For information about the nifty sound tools I'm using today, go ahead and click on the description box underneath in your YouTube player. And for other supplemental and interesting information, you can find me on patreon.com slash erichaugenguitar. Now to the learning. Okay, so what we really got is a D, A, G type progression, and we're going to approach it in an interesting way. A D6, 0, 2, 0, and when you get to your A, you're going to hammer it. So it's O, 2, throw it flat, and get those two. And then when you get to your G, you're going to hammer those two. That's out of that G structure there. O, 4, flat, flat, 3, 3. There you go. I love this, and immediately shifts on you to be all weird and sinister. E minor, G, F sharp, F is what we got there, just bar chords. So it's really interesting, pretty to sinister. And then I vaguely arrange the verse. So my D at that point, I'm using 0, 7, and 5, going... Here's my A. O, 7, 6, 5. Back it up to 5, 4, 3 to get the G. And here comes my... Depending on which take I end up using for the opening part, sometimes on that F, I'll do a F unison bend there. What is that? A seven eight to a five there, a six there. Just kind of spooky. Now, this part, which was really interesting to transcribe, because I don't understand what time signature it's in, I just kind of made a big grid and. That's basically the pattern. So you got, if you're counting, uh, one, well, I'll just show you. F, F, G, I'm just gonna use all power chords. F, F, G, A, A, and then A, A, F, F. What's ultimately a D, D, G, A, A, but it's going by so fast, I actually, you'll see me just do the A string and the D string, because that, That'll get me enough of my D. So, um, and then A, A, and then there, for some reason there's a spare. That's the cycle, so it goes. <laughs> I can play it. Extra, and then it goes around again. And then a whole bunch of E. I might go up to a power chord here. And then the song shifts to 5-4 to take five Dave Brubeck fives. That's why you gotta love, love. Just super ahead of their time weirdos. Um, I mean, that's just, yeah, they combine garage rock with like jazzy stuff with uh, um, neoclassical something something just or, or do they call it orchestral pop anyway what I'm doing there is A minor yeah I mean that's take five it's the same thing but I'm gonna hybrid pick so all I'm doing there is throwing flat across fives A string fifth fret and then basically implying an E minor seven because that's what take five does. So seven down there on the low E, five, seven. Now, if you haven't played in five, four, it's really, think of it as three, four plus two, four. One, two, three, four, five. 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 That's the key to being able to play in five, four. And of course, they, they jazzify it a little bit. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. 
So soloing over it, I, you know, on the record actually, there's I think a saxophone solo all over the place, and the guitars kind of just do they're hanging on for dear life. So I want to make my own solo that would um, work better. Let's talk about that. <laughs> I'm specifically constructing a solo that's going one, two, three, four, and five, and one, two, three, four, and five, and one, two, three, four, and five, and one, two, three, so that it really outlines those. So you have one, two, three, four, and five, and one, two, three, four, and five, and one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so I made it so that it perfectly fits because I'm not good enough to just solo in 5-4 and have it work. I have to make sure that I create a solo that works. So I'm playing out of A minor pentatonic, or well, A blues, with some jazz notes added. Dropping in on that fourth fret, the B, the ninth of the key. So, And then a blues run here. 8-7, seven, 5-7, seven. tag that 8 there. 1, 2, 3. And then theme and variation, I'm like, well, let me pick another B to D to do, because if, if that's how I solo, I find a cool idea. I'm like, man, eh, let me move it to other parts. So that's the same idea, but in this part of A minor. 10, 8, 7, 10, 8. And then I'm going to go up. 10, 10, 12. So we had. And I'll line up perfectly with that 5, 4. And then I'm still playing with that 5, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I just, you know, I don't know. It came to me this idea of octaves up here on our A minor, which are really Gs. And then tagging this part of an A minor chord here, um, which is 11 and 12. You know, when I have a good idea, I just move it around to other parts of the scale. And there's tagging these Ds here, that 7 and 10, and then 8 and 7. And then I think I reverse my accenting, so I'm going, I'm putting more notes on the 3 4 part and not on the 2 4. I go, yeah. Because then I'm going 1 and 2 and 3, 4, 5. Yeah, that's walking down a blue scale. 5, 8, Five, eight, seven. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, so I flip my accenting. One, two, three, and four. One and two and three, four, five. One and two and three. Oh, it's hard to do this all. One and two and three, four, five. Yeah, so I I flip it to make it not so predictable. So I did a, a run here. Again, taking an idea from one part of a scale and putting on another. I have a lesson about this where you just, well, if you had a good idea, just keep moving it through other parts of the scale. So that final little run there. O on the G, one O on the D. That's A blues. And then I know I'm going to an E, so I do a three, four, O. Back to that kind of build up. And then you're back around. I think the main takeaways from this cool song, this little ripper, well, A, it was a chance for me to get to use this prototype. Um, Les Paul Jr. style guitar. Um, I figured like, oh, it worked well for that song. Um, Love is a really cool band. They have a couple of songs you may have heard, um, but they have quite a catalog of interesting music to go through. I think uh, harmonically there's interesting things with the shift from major to severely spooky chromatic minor, and also dealing with 5-4. Honestly, like, I could have just made that a lesson into itself, the idea of like, what do I do to solo in 5-4? the idea of breaking it into three and two, because those are, those are numbers we can count to, sort of. Um, I think it's the, the main thing that is interesting to work on for this one. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Have fun with that song.